Hi, everybody. We're in the Sunshine State, and the Panthers ready to scratch and claw their way to victory here on the ice tonight. Center's both set to dig on in, and we are about ready to go. The Oilers start things off on the right note by winning the opening draw. Grabs control of it at the point. And that's just out of reach. Quick feed to CeCe. Harrison from the point. Overnight on the play. Wow! Oh, that's a true competitor's save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. And Cheryl, listen to these fans here. They are getting loud. Some of them are getting on their feet here still. Applauding that save we saw. James, I think it's the appreciation for the desperation save, the compete, the will to keep that puck out of the net. And they're really showing him the love. McDavid's wheel zone ability means he can move past everyone with his great skating speed. Fine art's accurate and threatening when he shoots from in tight. His close quarter zone ability makes him dangerous when he's on the attack. I'm expecting one of these players to make a big difference for their team before the game is over. Back to you guys. Absolutely levels them. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming, and that's what he does with that first hit. Receives the pass. Into the attacking end. Oh, those boards rattled after that hit. Wow. And he's rattled as well, James. I mean, we knew that hit was coming, and then all of a sudden, boom, and he's down for the count. And now he moves it quickly to Yanmark. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. We're still in the early stages of this period. Still scoreless in this one. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Quick pass to Cousins. Quick shot. Love said made by Skinner. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Florida's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Tees it up. Denied with the glove by Skinner. Florida's won it, now they'll go on the attack. Oh, what a stop with the club by Skinner! And they win the face off and set up to go on the attack. Can't get it to go! Can't maintain possession after that hit. Handles it along the blue line. The Oilers carried along the wall. Poked away in the offensive zone by Fogel. Florida's got it from behind the net. Edmonton's got possession here in the offensive zone. Battle along the boards. The Oilers have it against the wall. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Still keeps a hold of the puck. And look at this. They've really ratcheted up the intensity here. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Edmonton's got the puck now. McLeod stick handling in his own zone. Florida's ready to go on the attack. Puck dumped in. And he loses control here. Handles the pass. Taken by Stedlin. Moves it to Lombard. Battle ensues for that loose puck around the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Brown. There. Takes a shot. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. Lots of time left in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Face off coming up as the puck goes up and over the glass.
Edmonton's won the face-off deep in their own end. Nice zone entry from the right side. Fires it on net. Bobrovsky's got a hold of the puck behind his own cage. Bennett's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Kachuk's got it in the offensive zone. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Dreisaitl. Picked up along the wall by McDavid. Puck grab by Dreisaitl. Moves it quickly over to CeCe. Denies him! Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Cuts to the front. Oh, what a stick save. Feeds it on over to Reinhardt. The Oilers have it now. Fires it. Denies him. He got all of it. Tries to feed it over to Reinhardt. Still buzzing upon what we just saw. What a save that was, Cheryl. Yeah, he made an incredible save and really engaged this fan base. They're on their feet. You know they're right into the game. And listen, when they are showing you that kind of appreciation, you also want to play for them. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Back at the point, they set it up. And he takes the feed. Steps up with the block. For them. When you play at home, you get on the board first. You create a ton of momentum. You don't want to give any life to your opponent. The Panthers get on the board here first. I'm not surprised, Cheryl. This team has been buzzing already. Oh, well, they've been buzzing, but most importantly, James, they've been dialed in. You can see it in their intensity right from the puck drop and their first few strides all over the ice. They've been incredible to start this game. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Dumps it in. Sends it quickly to Rodriguez. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And he's got that one. Skinner's got great rebound control and just pushes that out of harm's way. Moving into the attacking zone. And that slides right out to center ice. The Oilers gain possession in their own end. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Shot! Oh, that's a piece of it with the glove! Puck scooped up by Kulikov. With some open space here in the neutral zone. Takes a shot. Oh, scores! Well, you don't see that very often when you shoot it into your own net trying to clear the puck. That's ugly. The Panthers have had multiple scoring opportunities here in this first and could easily have a much bigger lead. Bennett's one possession. Here's a short pass to Cousins. And he totally whiffs on that one. Scoops up the puck behind the net. Skinner is a competitor, and he is not afraid to compete for every single puck and outwill and outbattle his opponent. And that highlight reel save, it is something, James, because just when you think it's almost in, he finds a way to get to that puck. Such an athletic goaltender. Pass out front! Picked off in front. Moves the puck to Yanmar. Cuts to the paint. Oh, a clutch save! Bobrovsky's made a great quality shot look easy. I mean, he is so efficient.
efficient. He's dialed in. He tracks and he makes the save. What pressure here in the offensive end. And they skate it out of the danger zone. Picked up here in the neutral zone by Kachuk. The Oilers looking against the half wall. Oh, he stopped it. What a save on the play. And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find the way to make that save incredible, James. Such an impressive save, James. And I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position. It's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out battling and outwilling everyone around you. Nearing the midway mark of the period. The Panthers are currently sitting in the driver's seat, leading 2-0. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Takes the feed. Eckholm's going to play it against the half wall. Can't connect on the shot. Ekblad scooped up the puck now here inside his own zone. Trying to get 2Q with it and loses possession. And that plays offside. We got a face-off coming up. Barkov's a bit of a wild card, guys. He's great at takeaways and getting the play to go in his direction. And that's thanks to his yoink zone ability. It's how he likes to generate his chances. Dishes it to Reinhardt. Oh, and he just got enough of that to keep it out. And that shot dies in traffic. Edmonton's going on the attack as they gain the zone. The Panthers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. Great four check by Reinhardt. Taken along the wall by Perry. Gets it over to Bouchard. Here we go. Puck's in deep. The Panthers move the puck in the defensive zone. Sends it over to Lusta Reiner. And he's knocked off the puck there. Out of the way by Skinner. Now oh, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Quick feed to Fogel. Makes the save. Puck is frozen and will get a face off. Teams are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Lomberg's taking it from his own end. Sends the pass over. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Oh, and that one pumps up short as he just gets enough of that one. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Florida's got a 2-0 lead. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And there's the save! No way, the official signaling a goal! That's a goal! This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. Edmonton's come to life here as they finally got a goal of their own. Well, they certainly have, and they're showing that offensive production, the ability to get to the net, and they've countered, gotten within one. Florida's got the puck in the defensive end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Quick pass to Stedlin. And that's offside, stopping the play. Dreisaitl's team is trailing, and they're looking to him to use his zone ability to generate some offense, guys. And off the draw, they take the puck. Great reach with the poke check. Hyman's moving the puck through his own zone. Handles the pass at center. Florida's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Look at this. They've got some bodies here on the attack. Scores on the rebound. It's buried. I love
love the way they were able to execute on this odd man rush. James really used the ice to their advantage, manipulating their opponent, the ice that they did have, and then they were able to capitalize when the shot came their way. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. The Oilers get a hold of the puck off the draw. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. Bobrovsky's going to hang on for a whistle. Still lots of time left in the period. Florida's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Moves it to Mustarainen. Florida's caught him along the wall. Here's a chance. Stops the rocket of a shot. The Panthers will go to work here in the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Rodriguez. Takes a bump but hangs on to the puck. And a solid save on the play there. The goaltender's at the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Driving right to the front. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. The Panthers take possession off the faceoff. Ekblad's lugging the puck. Odd man rush. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck now. Janmark's got it into offensive territory. The Panthers look to start the transition game. Slides it diagonally to Nurse. A howitzer! And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Here's a short pass to CeCe. And he slides it quickly to Kane. Moves the puck along the half wall. Moves it to Nugent Hopkins. Here, oh, what a save! Uh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. Play continues here, but this crowd's still buzzing after what we saw. What a stop that was. Uh, yeah, and they're saying thank you to the goaltender right now, James. They're still on their feet. They're electric right now. And really, it's a nice feeling. Why? Because it doesn't always go this way. So when you have it, you embrace it. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Panthers have been getting solid offensive contributions, leading 3-1. And they'll start with possession. Grabs him with the glove. Good hit on the play. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. From the left side, takes it at center. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Turn that one aside. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. McDavid's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. And that's broken up. Right up Main Street and on the attack. The Panthers scoop it up along the boards. Slides it to Lusterinen. Regroups with the puck back inside the D zone. Great defensive effort with the stick. Slides the puck over. Quick feed to McDavid. Here's a shot! Oh, that hits the cage! That's using your head! Dives down low to block it! Gets his stick on it! Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it! The Panthers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Now a quick pass to Lombard. The Panthers move to the offensive zone. Turn the side with the glove. In front, 
And a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Past the midway mark in this period, Florida's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. Gagne's won the draw here in the defensive zone. The Oilers gain control of the puck. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Can hang on to the puck after taking a knock. The Oilers will play it from the defensive zone. Up along the wing. Fires it! Denies it in front! What an incredible glove save by the goaltender. I mean, he gets out to the top of his crease. He's challenging. He's saying, hey, try and beat me on this side. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. Edmonton's won the face-off. From the slot, this shot. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Florida's looking to break out. From his own end, he moves it up ahead. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. The Oilers play it along the wing. Slides the puck down low. This one, and it goes straight off his bucket. Well, that was a hard shot, and the mask makes the save. He got his bell rung on that one, James. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Florida's looking to break out of their own end. They've got numbers here. And that goes off course off a of body. Grabbed along the board by McLeod. Pass to CeCe. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Ekblad. The Panthers cross the line and gain the zone. Florida's got it now. McDavid's got the puck in his own zone. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Stones him in front. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is. And the oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. And look at this. These fans are starting to get on their feet to recognize what an incredible city we just witnessed. Yeah, he made an incredible one, didn't he? And, and you got to embrace it when they're on their feet in support of you because you know you hear boos often when you let a bad one in. So embrace it. You can tell that he's feeling it right now. Here he is in close. And that carries off a body in traffic. Bennett's got it in the defensive end. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Great pressure to force the turnover. The Oilers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Edmonton's in now. To his teammate. Chance in front. Off the stick and they can't complete the play. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. All alone. Attack and brilliant speed to get on his horse and get in on the breakaway, James. And that momentum, it carries right through on his shot, and he puts it home. Here in the back half of this period, Florida's got a three-goal lead. And off the draw at center, they take control of the puck. The Panthers have it from their own end. Florida's got it in their own zone. Sends it in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Florida's got a hold of it against the wall. Edmonton's got control of it now here in the offensive end. And he takes a shot. No room for that one to get through. Turns it away on the slot shot. They are really starting to apply the pressure here in the offensive end. When you see a guy dangling around his opponent, weaving in and out, sometimes you think it's showboating, James. But all it is is manipulating his opponent to get the lane that he wants. You know that he's going to deliver a pass, but you just got to be ready for it. 
The Oilers have finally shown some life here in the first as they get one back. And making some adjustments late in the first period after they get a real slow start. They have to find some pushback and some legs if they want to get back in this one. Quick pass to Kulikov. Offensive zone down the right wing. Shot! And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. And there's another stop! Lee's out battling his opponent right now. He is so dialed in, he's tracking the puck, making save after save. It's about time his team starts working in front of him. And he slides it quickly to Ekman Larson. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Moves it to Verhage. Florida's got possession of the puck. Now he slides it up to Stenland. And that's knocked away by Kulak. The Oilers are on the attack. And that's poked away by Forsling. And the puck's kicked free. The Panthers move it ahead. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Shot! And that's blocked in traffic. And now it's grabbed by McLeod. Puck picked up by Perry. Moves it to the middle. And that goes off someone in front. Made the stop on the play. Moves it quickly over to CeCe. The Panthers have it against the wall. And now he angles it across to Stenlin. Puts it on the Oh, what a close save by Skinner. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Getting into the later stages of this period. The Panthers lead it 4-2. Florida's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, what a smart heads-up play. Hammers the shot. Oh, what a great stop as he got a piece of it with the glove. The Oilers have it now. Center into the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Right through center and into the offensive zone. Here's a shot, and that carries off a body in the lane. Tries to get it to Yanmark. Gaining steam here on the attack. Oh, can't finish. Clay can't finish, but a great opportunity right there. Gets his stick on it as he's crashing the net. The Panthers take it from the side. That's a great heads up play to break up the pass. They've got some momentum here. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle. And that's off the iron! And he takes the dish. On the attack along the boards. Here's a shot. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Taken by Bouchard. Here's an odd man rush. And it's a quick pass to Eckholm. Slick feed. A chance! And that goes off a player in front. Here's a short pass to Lusta Reinen. The Panthers gain possession along the wall. Oh, what an opportunity, but it just goes a little higher than that. Well, when you're in the Ozone and you have possession, you're trying to create numbers. They do such a great job of getting to the net. And that opportunity ensues. The Panthers will play it in their own end. Slides it over with pace to Kulak. Off the glove and the puck skips away. Florida's moving it up the ice. And he hangs on to the puck. And here's the pass to Brown. Play is called for offside. Edmonton still trailing here in this opening period despite excellent scoring opportunities in the offensive zone. The Panthers take control of the faceoff. Great poke by McLeod. They score! And it's back-to-back -back tallies! Yeah, and they've been chomping at the bit. Now they've got their opponent on their heel. They need a quick change here and find a way to continue the momentum. Well, he gets beat clean by the shot, James, and he's only one player in front of the net, but it's not about how many, it's about where you are, and when you take away the eyes of the gender, this is exactly what can happen. 
here in the later stages of this period. Edmonton's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. Quick feed to Stenland. Quick shot! Oh, he got all of that! What a save by Skinner! Denies him again! Just fantastic work by the goaltender, making consecutive saves. How athletic! Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Florida's got control of it now from their own end. Less than a minute to go here in the opening frame. Edmonton's moving it along the wing. Quick pass to Fogel. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Bobrovsky. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Bobrovsky's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Florida's got possession here in their own end. Pokes the puck away. The Oilers gain possession. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Takes a shot. And that goes off the glove and will play on. Gains the zone on the left wing. Big hit and that frees up possession. Sends the pass down low. Moves it to Kachuk. Oh, what a stop on the play. Well, a nice save by the goaltender and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. Oh, gets a piece of it with the glove. Moves it quickly over to Kane. What a steal in his own end. There's the buzzer, 20 minutes in the books, second period just around the corner. Looking for the latest news, scores, and statistics? Check out our team website for video highlights, player features, and great merchandise from our online store. Second period set to get underway. the display of heavy artillery in the opening frame. Let's see if it carries over here in the second. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? The Oilers had a strong period, James. I really like the first 20 minutes, their effort, their underlying numbers. They have the majority of possession, but they are trailing by one, so they're going to have to have instincts around the net, look to attack, drive, and put it by the tender. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Takes it across the blue line. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Verhage's tried a great move there. We all know what great hands he is in tight, trying to create some space, but it bobbles off his stick and he lost possession. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Dreisaitl's got it along the wing. Pass back to the point. And that's stopped by Bobrovsky. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. The Oilers can't afford to get rattled here early in this second period. They've had more shots on goal, yet they still trail. Here they come on the attack. Picked up along the boards by Forsling. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck now. Here they come. Puck grabbed by Ekblad. Great use of the stick here at center ice. And the puck's booted away. Edmonton's got the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Cousins. He carries the puck up along the wing. Sends it in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Panthers have just had a little more offense than their opponents tonight. They lead it 4-3. Florida's won the draw, they'll go to work. Oh, and he gets a piece of the puck to deny them there. The Panthers gain control of the puck. Sends it out in front, and that's stopped. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. 
Edmonton's taking possession in their own end. Here's a short pass to McLeod. The Oilers take it along the wall. Turned aside with a glove by Bobrovsky. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Edmonton's got it, and they're on the attack. Tremendous read and even greater sacrifice on the block. The Panthers played along the boards. Big time stop. I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Oh, big time hit along the wall, and this is why I'm glad I'm up here in a suit, Cheryl. And I'm right there with you, James. I wouldn't want to be along those boards either. It almost looked like he left his feet early, but nonetheless, it's a bone crusher. The Panthers look to start the transition game. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. The Panthers have it behind the cage. And he maintains possession of the puck here. And that's blocked from someone in front. Quick feed to Dayarnay. And he takes the feed. Fires it on net. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Bobrovsky. Slides it back to the blue line. Quick pass to Hyman. Scores! They tied it up, and we are back to even. Well, working hard, sticking to the game plan with good habits, and they're back to evens. So much of the goaltending position is tracking the puck and trying to get the sight lines, James. And with only one player in front, you might lose it for a second. But if you outbattle and outwill the person in front, you're going to find it. Unfortunately, this puck, it beats him clean. Edmonton's in one tonight. This is a fun one, Cheryl. Yeah, it's really entertaining. It's back and forth action. And listen, they didn't get down when they got down by one. Instead, they continued to press and push in a nice play there to get the equalizer. Puts it in deep. Moves it to Reinhardt. There's an injection of energy with that hit. The Oilers have it now. And he slides it quickly to Brown. From the neutral zone now. And he takes the pass. And now he moves it quickly to Brown. Break away. Oh, a spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Such an impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We got a tie game. Edmonton's won the draw inside the... And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Well, that's a huge shift, and you can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. This is a primetime example of why you work on face-off so often in practice, because when you start with possession, you get scoring chances. And when you get scoring chances, this is exactly what happens. You put it in. Edmonton's gone up by one here in the second period, and... I like that jump in their step we're starting to see here now. We've really seen an uptick in their momentum in the last few shifts, and they're rewarded with that goal, James. They've got to continue to attack the net, ski downhill, and not be afraid to get to the paint. From off the wall and onto a stick. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. The Panthers gain possession in their own end. Pushes it across to CeCe. Moves it quickly over to Nugent Hopkins. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Nugent Hopkins gets the thumbs up to try anything he wants offensively. That's how gifted and creative he is. But as he does this move, he gets a little too nifty. He might have wanted to keep it a little simpler as he's unable to get by. Florida's crossed the line and on the attack. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall. Passes over to Lombard. Looking to make something happen at center. Boom! Wow, what a thunderous hit there! Wow, uh, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Man, he get nailed. Now a quick pass to Eckholm. 
Way too much congestion blocks that. Here's a short pass to Ekblad. Moves the puck. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Grabbed along the board by McDavid. The Panthers get a hold of the puck. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. Puck scooped up by Hyman. Feeds the puck over. And he's got the answer for that one. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Edmonton's got a 5-4 lead here in what has been a thrilling display of offense. Handles the puck. Quick feed to Mikola. And he'll lump the puck back inside the defensive zone. Quick pass to Verhage. A chance in front. And that doesn't go as it's off the stick. Moves it to Mikola. Pokes it away in his own end. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Moves it quickly over to Verhage. Slides the puck across to McLeod. Here's a short pass to Perry. Sends it in front, and that doesn't connect. Quick feed to Barkov. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. And a stick breaks that up. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Pass across to Reinhardt. Florida's moving it into the offensive end. He's got a step. Oh, denies him on the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get a... He scores! And someone's heating up with his second of the night. Yeah, I expect that he's going to be looking for the Hattie because he's been all around the paint tonight, James, just showing off his skill set. I'd like to call this a quiet shot, James. What that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for it, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. The Oilers are clicking on all cylinders tonight, now up by a pair here in the first half of the second. Well, it's deserved, James. I mean, they've competed in all areas of the ice. They put a lot of shots towards the net, and they've been rewarded for their efforts. Edmonton's got the puck. Keeps a hold of it on the play. Forsling stick handling in his own zone. And he slides it quickly to Luster Ryan. Feeds it down low. Quick pass across to Forsling. Great reach with the stick by Rodriguez. And he was right there to make the stop on that play. Cousins will play it from the side. They are really starting to apply the pressure here in the offensive end. And they'll end all that pressure as they clear the zone. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. I know it sits on your toes there, James, but had to react to that massive hit. Penalty coming up here. Anytime you lose position on your opponent, this can happen. He gets the sticks out in the feet of his opponent, and guess what? He gets the tripping call. Our first look tonight at their power play unit. The league's best power play gets an opportunity to increase their lead. No better way to continue that momentum than to get these guys out there. And that's blocked away. They fight for it along the boards. Takes the pass. Florida's got it along the wall. Throws it in. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Takes the feed from the left side. The Panthers move the puck in the defensive zone. And now he moves it to Mikola. Nice zone entry from the middle. Drills them. The Oilers have it behind the net. Here they come up along the wing. Works it across to McDavid. Denies him on the slapper. Great reach with the poke check. Oh, there's no more. Well, you know that he's a fierce competitor, and he battled to make consecutive saves there, James. And look at this. All sorts of pressure here building. That's picked up by the D. And they'll skate it out of the zone. 
Holocaust taking it from his own end. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Picked off by Mikola. The Panthers pick up steam and are on the attack. Caught! Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Quick pass to Dreisaitl. Takes a shot, and that's deflected off someone in front. And it's a quick pass to Lomberg. And that's knocked away by Nugent Hopkins. Edmonton's got the puck against the boards. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Florida's got the puck in the defensive end. Lomberg's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Let's get the official decision. Well, in this situation, he is going to get the tripping call. I thought he had good position there on his opponent, James, fishing for the puck. Just used his stick, and it got into the skates. Tripping is the call. A little four-on-four four hockey as both teams step inside the face-off circle. Well, four-on-four four is similar to three-on-three. Three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two-on-ones all over. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Hyman. Florida's got a chance to go to work on the power play here after their penalty expired. Barkov got it to the side. Fantastic save! Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. The Panthers have it against the wall. The Oilers are across the line and into the offensive end. Great hands to handle the saucer feed. And that carries off a stick. Moves it to Barkov. From the open ice, they gain the line. Shot! Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Bennett's ready for the draw on this man advantage. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Bennett. And he came up with a solid stop on that play. And now it's to Eckholm. Edmonton's ready to go on the attack. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Pass, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Florida's got the puck behind the net. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. They go on the attack through center. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Puck cleared from the defensive end. The Panthers scoop it up along the boards. And he slides it quickly to Ekblad. Florida's gained the line and into the zone. A chance in close! And he made the... Oh, saved it! What a stop! Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. You really want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level when you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game. You know that goaltending coach, they can't just keep this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. Kachuk's looking to get things going for his squad, guys. If he can use his zone ability to create some scoring opportunities, that might be the spark that they need to get back in this game. And manages to clear the zone. And time expires on the power play. Both teams back to even. That's a great job on the power play. Maybe could have had a little net for us. And the party's on in FLA! Sometimes I think that the game is real slow for some athletes, and in this case, he is showing just that. I mean, he is finding the open player. It's like everyone else is standing still while he threads the needle. Florida suddenly made this a lot more intriguing here in this second period. I know it's cliche, James, but the game is 60 minutes. It's only the second, and they've got themselves within one. A lot of runway to go. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. And now it's grabbed by Nurse. And he slides it quickly to Cece. Can't connect good use of the body on that play. Let's it fly. Oh, 
Yes, and just like that, they take that momentum away. Well, that's a huge shift. I mean, listen, their opponent scores, and instead of allowing them to build the confidence on it, they stomp it out right away. That's exactly what you want to do if you want to be a competitive team. You got to work hard in the offseason if you want to have this kind of power, James, because he's getting jostled, trying to get bumped off the puck. He's able to hold on to it with that low center of gravity and core strength. And then his eyes are on the prize, not the goaltender, but the player left wide open because everyone is so focused on him. He's going to get an assist for his efforts. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Dreisaitl's got the puck. There he is from the slot. James, but it's easier said than done. You're under pressure, there's traffic, but every single time he's got pinpoint accuracy and delivers right to his teammate's stick. Edmonton's got to be feeling good about their game tonight. I mean, they've just moved the puck around so effectively. Yeah, they've gotten in the offensive zone because of their speed through the neutral zone. They've gotten good entries, and then their puck possession in the offensive zone. I mean, it's been so difficult to take it away. It's been a string on their stick. They've been evasive, they've been elusive, and they've driven the net when they should have. And we're still only in period number two. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Puck is picked up here in the neutral ice by Nurse. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Moves it quickly over to Nurse. Here's a short pass to McDavid. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Edmonton's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. Bennett's won it in their own end. Quick feed to Kachuk. Great heads up play with the stick by Bouchard. Caught into the club by Skinner. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Edmonton's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. Florida's got the puck inside the offensive zone. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. The Oilers take it along the wing. Dumps the puck in. Florida's got a hold of it against the wall. Getting a little physical out there, but still holds on to the puck. Moves around along the half wall. Eckholm's hauled down, penalty on the way. And let's see what the call is. The game is getting out of hand. You're down by a bunch, you take another penalty. You gotta find a way to just reset your composure. They're getting penalized for slashing. They'll play some four on four. On a four on four, you can expect all players on the ice when you're possessing the puck to activate. You have to be able to support the puck carrier. And if you're a defender, you know you're jumping into a lane going north. Nurse is picking up steam. Pushed away in the offensive end. Came up with the save on that play. Down the left wing, they came the zone. He got all that hit. Quick feed to CeCe. Steps across the blue line. Here's the pass. Fires it. Oh my goodness, it stayed out. What a save. It was all but in James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. And as play continues, listen to these fans. They're starting to get loud and recognizing what we saw not long ago here, Cheryl. Yeah, James, I mean, they're continuing to acknowledge the save he made earlier because they know the temperature of this game. And hey, the fans are now in it. They're all on board, and guess what? The goaltender knows it. Puck picked up by Ekblad. Moves it to the offensive zone. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. 
can almost hear the sighs on the bench as that third penalty within the frame has been called here. James, a tough position as they can't get any rhythm going on their bench. Florida's got a chance to open it up on this four on three. A four on three is extremely dangerous, James. The ability to move the puck quickly, open up seams, and you can take it to the net. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck. And the puck clears the zone. Picked up along the wall by Montour. Look at this, two on one. Feeds it over. Oh, and that shot is off target. Oh! The Oilers have it now. Gets the puck in deep. Florida's got control of it now from their own end. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Moves inside. Reaches out and uses the stick. Takes the feed. Florida's got the puck now. The Oilers have possession shorthanded. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Three penalties in one period. You gotta stay disciplined. And what it does is it disrupts the flow of your bench. Only your PKers are getting out of there. lead in a big way here in this second. They have been on fire offensively. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Comes up with the stop. The Panthers' power play expires. They now go to work for a short period on the power play. Nice zone entry from the left. In on Goaltender so aggressive, tracks the puck and makes the save. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Edmonton's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. Taken along the wall by Montour. And now he moves it quickly to Stenlin. Here's a chance! Big time save on the one-timer! And the puck's knocked loose. Oh, and that battle ends as the puck gets loose. Across the line from center. Here's a shot! And that goes off the body. Still has possession. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Shot! Makes the save, but barely with that one. The Oilers take it across the line. And that's a great heads up play by Verhage. The Oilers penalty has expired. They now go to work on the power play. Taken by Rodriguez. How did he stop that one? And that doesn't reach the net. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Moves it to Rodriguez. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. McLeod set the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Florida's won the face-off at center. Sends a pass over. Whacks it into the offensive zone. Takes the feed, moving in. Ten seconds on the clock. Receives the pass. Luos Dorayden's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Yeah, they're handedly winning in this one, James, and they didn't execute on the power play, but there's a bunch of athletes on that team that want that job, and it's about executing to the best of their ability. And he completes the hat-trick! Well, he's been zipping and buzzing on the ice this entire night, as we James, and man, do the fans appreciate him. Hard 
shot. The goaltender looks like he's just getting to position, gets a piece of it, but it still goes in. Florida's not out of the woods just yet, not by a long shot, but at least they've made it a game, Cheryl. They've made it a game, and they aren't out of the woods, but they can figure out a way to get out of them, and that's one shift at a time, and they can start right there with a the goal. Now a quick pass to Montour. Score! shot and the goaltender just simply cannot pick it up. Good patience to find a shot lane through the traffic jam and into the back of the net. Florida's goal late here in period number two has given them new life here late. They'll need to take that life and re-energize themselves but it's been all about good habits not getting frustrated at the score finding a way to put it in. They just did it. Moves it quickly over to Nugent Hopkins. Janmark got it against the boards. A short pass to Mikolov. Handles the pass. Quick feed to Nurse. Slides the puck to Yanmark. Backtracks with possession back inside the defensive zone. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Brown's been so dangerous tonight. He's got two in the game. You know he's looking for the Hattie. Here they are on the attack. From point blank. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes a save. Edmonton's been bringing the heat offensively all night long, and they continue to lead here late in this middle frame. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Puck grab by Forsling. The Panthers take it along the wall. Fires it into the offensive zone. Moves it over to Gagne. The Panthers pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Edmonton's got possession of the puck. Quick pass to Gagne. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Suddenly please! And that goes off a stick and off target. Scrum along the boards. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Let's move to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Along the right side into the offensive zone. And not much on that one. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. The Panthers take possession here inside the offensive zone. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Dayarnay's carrying it ahead. And that goes off the player. Gains the zone through the middle. Things starting to get a little physical out there. Florida's got him along the wall. Keeps possession. Dry Seidel's gaining momentum. Moves it to McDavid. And he takes the feed. Takes the feed. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Kulak. The Oilers gain possession in their own end. Passes it over to McDavid. Shot! Flushes the leather! What a save by Bobrovsky! Edmonton's been putting lots of pucks on net all night long, and they lead it here late in the second. Second period. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. And he comes up and scores as he taps it in on a second effort. Well, I just love this play, James. I mean, you take the initial shot, but you follow it up. You still have the eyes to find the puck and put it on your stick and then bury your chance. That's a great play all the way around. Well, it looks like they've reset the table. I mean, didn't get the start that they wanted, found themselves behind the eight ball, but it's amazing, James. It's an old cliche, but the game is never over until it's over. 
Florida's offensive pressure has resulted in an equalizer here tonight. As an athlete, you always know the end of the period is critical time, and you want to maintain pressure, and you want to gain momentum heading into the third. That goal did just that. Puts it on net, and he gets in front of the slap shot to make a save. to Rodriguez. The Panthers carry it along the wall. Moves it quickly over to McLeod. And it's a quick pass to Fogel. Here's a chance in front! And that's stopped! Florida's got control of the puck. Cross it up on the play. Here's a shot! Big save right at the end! There's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we've got a third period just around the corner. Hey, fans, we'd like to draw your attention to the far part of the arena where we're welcoming all of our minor hockey kids here in attendance tonight. truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. We are underway here in the third and this could come down to next goal wins. Oh, what a slick stop by Bobrovsky. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving, a reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Florida's got a hold of the puck now. With possession along the wall. And somehow he hangs on. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. Sends the pass over. Solid check to slow him down. Florida's got it in their own zone. Verhage's gonna play it against the half wall. Here's a short pass to Reinhardt. That goes off a twig. Great heads up play to poke it away at the offensive end. Scoops up the puck. Line change. And look at this, all sorts of pressure here building. Here's a hit. They have really got the cycle going now. Here's a shot, and it's picked up by the D. And the D comes up with it. And they skate it out of the danger zone. Slides the puck over. The Oilers gain control of the puck. The Panthers gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. And he takes the dish. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. Edmonton's on the attack. Pinned up along the boards. Quick feed to Montour. Slick feed. Slides it across. 
Edmonton's regained possession of the puck. Skinner's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. Bennett's won the draw, and they're on the attack. Here's a shot. Great save by the goaltender to get a pat on that one. Keeping the puck out of the net. Off the left wing and into center. Loses his balance on the play. Bobrovsky's got it, and the officials blow the play dead. Well, and this is a smart play. He's been dialed in all night and recognizes that he doesn't want his team to make any mistakes. The safe play sometimes is to hold on. Edmonton's won the draw. Quick pass to Perry. Gets up to the to make the save. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. McLeod's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Passes it to Kachuk, and he lowers the boom there. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Gains the zone from the right side. Florida's got the puck. Moves it to Cousins. Great pressure on the offensive end by Fogel. Uses the force on that hit. Looking to make something happen along the boards. The Oilers gain possession. Brown's back on the ice, exactly where the coach wants him. He's been the go-to guy in the... Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, and this has been trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck quickly and sense an upward trajectory as this game's progressed and they find the back of the net. But well, your coach is preaching all the time. Take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. The Oilers win the draw. Moves the puck along the half wall. Let's go! Nothing like switching momentum and putting your opponent on their heels than getting two in a row back to back. Here they come. Wow, James, that was just a blast from the high slot. Not sure where the coverage went, though. The coach is not going to be very impressed with the lack of support in the defensive zone. The Oilers pick up right where they left off. And look at this, a quick goal here to go up in the third. Yeah, and that's deflating for their opponent. You can see it in the body language. And that's also a signal to them that they need to continue to press attack while they're down. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. These are typically easy calls for officials to make as the opponent goes falling to the ice at the hands of your stick. Tough one to take. They have to find a way to generate some now, James. They haven't all game. They have to find a way to get a good entry. The setup is the most important part. Quick shot! Denies him with the pad. And he slides it quickly to McDavid. The Oilers looking against the half wall. Luos Dorian has got it along the boards. The Oilers have it against the wall. And he slides it quickly to Hyman. And he takes the feed. Turned aside with the glove by Bobrovsky. Barkov's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. The Panthers come up with a defensive zone draw. And now he moves it quickly to Barkov. The Panthers cross the line and gain the zone. Reads it perfectly and comes up with the takeaway. Along the half wall with the puck. Tried to get 2-Q with it and loses possession. Make 
Reinhardt's tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, singling penalty. Here comes the official's call. The Oilers are going to be shorthanded because of a tripping call. As we get set for the face-off, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. A few ways to play a four-on-four. -four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent, too. And now he tries to get it across to McDavid. Tries it to the crease! Skinner's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Edmonton's got the lead early in the third period. They have been the far busier team offensively tonight. The Oilers take possession off the faceoff. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Poked away by Lumberg. The Oilers have it behind the cage. Goalie makes the save. Goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Now a quick pass to Ekman Larson. And that's off target as it hits a body. Skinner's going to hang on for a whistle. The officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another faceoff here. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. All the officials were all over that trip. Quick whistle stops the play. Well, the refs are calling a really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. As we get set to drop the puck, a look at a little four-on-three coming up here with the man advantage. On a four-on-three, there's more ice available, but you have to continue with motion. Pull the coverage outside to open up those lanes. Oh, they do it again! And he takes the pass. Made that stop. They're really quick in here in the offensive end. All sorts of pressure. Trying to get it out. And they finally get it out and finally ease the pressure. And this one has really put the pressure on now. Sends it to Montour. Oh, another big time clutch stop. And look at this puck movement here in the offensive end. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out battle and out will his opponent to find the puck. Well, here we go. Big time face off in the offensive zone for this power play unit. Uh, and they haven't made any mistakes, right, James? They're moving the puck. They're finding ways to attack the net. They just haven't put it in, and they're up against a tired Colton, but they got to smell blood, and they got to put it away. Angles it over to Verhage. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Blocked in front. A chance to get it out of the defensive zone. And the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close quickly and they can corral the puck and just fire it down the ice. And they turn that aside as we continue play here. Oh, what a save! Uh, that doesn't swing the momentum in your favor, I don't know. stop it and so you gotta get traffic in front of the net on this power play they do an excellent job of getting bodies in front of the paint the Panthers desperately needed something and they finally made it happen now they're in the final frame here but they got one back and you know what that's like as an opponent when you know that that team is coming and they're a wave there's a lot of urgency and they're a dangerous team right now moves the puck from off the bank pass Breaks up the momentum. Gets it out of his own end. The Panthers will play it from the defensive zone. Through center. Center and feed. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Great poke check on the reach. Back to the point it goes. Fires one. There's a reason why the power play moves the 
puck around the perimeter and creates motion. They want to pull the PK outside of the middle of the ice. And when they do, they hit the bumper position perfectly, and they're able to hammer it home. The Panthers get exactly what they were looking for. A tying goal, and look at this, where we are now in the third. They're back in this game, James. They shifted the momentum, but it's their urgency. They've been all over the puck. Their first few strides have been hard, and you can tell they want this one. All alone! Tonight on the breakaway! Oh, he came up clutch there! Well, he really did. Uh, anytime that you're one-on-one, -on -one, you got to beat the shooter, and that's exactly what he does. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Dreisaitl. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Montour. Battle along the wall. And it's kicked away. Tosses it on to Dreisaitl. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Takes a shot. Blocked in traffic. Right in front. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Hyman. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Sends a pass in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Fires it on net. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Barkov's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Puts it on that. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. And it's a quick pass to Ekblad. Oh, what a save in front. Edmonton's on the attack. Into the corner of the attacking area. Denies that opportunity. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Moves the puck. Verhage's got it through the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Barkov. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Scooped up along the wall by Kane. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Let's get the call here. Well, the PKers are getting a ton of ice time, but guess what? Your offensive players are not, so you can't generate and produce. they got to figure out a way to stay out of the box. Well, I expect that they're going to go back to the umbrella formation, James. They had success earlier on it on the power play with three up high trying to move the coverage. Hey, for everyone who wants to draw it up, it's exactly... Oh, it's so good! James, I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Florida's got the puck in their own end. Here's a short pass to Ekblad. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Shot! Goalie with a stop. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Gagne is ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. And a solid job tying up his opponent. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Denies it in front. Well, that's an unbelievable save. A great A scoring chance taken away as he flashes the leather and makes a stop. Bennett's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Florida's won it, now they'll go on the attack. Beautiful glove stop on that one. Teams are lined up and we are ready to take this draw. Bennett's got the puck and they'll go on the attack. Just gets a piece of it to keep it out wide. That's blocked. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Good defensive stop at the poke check. And they send it down the ice. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Florida's playing it from the side. Monster save by Skinner. 
This shot's coming from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Barkov's looking to win this, drawing this man advantage here. The Panthers will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Made the stop on that play. And it turns off the glove and it stays out. Denies him! You can certainly tell that the goaltender is dialed in on that last sequence of saves, James. He's to position, so he finds a way to make multiple saves back to back. Grabbed along the board by Barkov. The Oilers get a hold of it. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Montour's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, and he's saved on the play! Whoa! He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. Quick feed to Kachuk. Turns that one away. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. Oh, what a save! All sorts of pressure here in the defensive zone. They are on their heels. This looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save. That's what he did, and that's why the save was made. They'll be looking to keep that momentum going here in the faceoff. After that last shift change where they really press, they want to continue right there, get pucks to the net, because this goaltender will not want to battle net front. He's outworked already. Score! And they've gone! Well, this is a beautiful one-timer shot that's going to beat the goaltender, but how about the offensive zone face-off? I mean, just winning that puck directly back. I mean, no one can react off of it. Florida's got to be feeling confident right now with the time remaining, Cheryl. Up one with that kind of time remaining. You know you got the game in your hands, but you have to be able to close it out. You know how you do that? You find a way to get the puck, and you have to manage it. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Ekblad. They've got the defense outnumbered. And gets a piece of it with the trapper. And he slides it quickly to Perry. Burns away. Stopped on the breakaway. What a save he made there. Well, I loved how he challenged the shooter on this, James. He didn't sit back in his net. He came right out to the top of the pig and said, if you're going to beat me, you got to find room. McLeod's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Up by one, and you take a penalty, applying some pressure to the PK unit here as a power play as an opportunity to get the equalizer. The power play unit goes right back to work. Well, a timely power play at this juncture of the game, James, to even it up. This is huge for this power play. Your big stars, they need to shine. Oh, a short save! Oh, turns it aside once again. They just keep coming in waves here in the offensive end. Over to McDavid. Oh, what a collision. Denied with the save. Here's a pass. Here's another feed. And they come away with possession here in their own end. Edmonton's in now. And look at this ball. Here, Billy. There's a collision. There's a hit on the play. Now over to Bouchard. Tees it up. Great save on the play. Trying to get it out. That goes off the glass, and they finally ease the pressure. And he handles the cross ice pass. And just he's got a step. Makes the save. Oh, and this is a great save, James. The goaltender gets to the top of his crease, makes himself look huge, and is extremely aggressive to be able to make that stop. Barkov's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive side. They score! And putting it home on the power play, and we have even things up here tonight. Right from the beginning of that power play, James, there just was a confidence about them, the way they own the puck, the precision in the movements, the motion in the offensive zone, and they cash in to tie this game.
Edmonton's playing to win here now. They have tied it up here in the third. You said it, James. They're not sitting back. They're attacking. And this is urgency that often presents itself late in the game. You wonder why you didn't start that way. But you can certainly finish it. And now it's over to Yanmar. Florida's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Paint pass speed. Picked up along the wall by Bennett. Textbook stop by Skinner. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Puck possession so critical in today's game, and the official ready to drop the puck right here. Florida's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And it banks off a stick in traffic. Hammers it on net. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. The Oilers will play it in their own end. On the attack along the boards. Quick pass to Eckholm. Hard hit frees up the puck. And he loses control of the puck. Out of midair, he swats it down to the ice. All alone! Oh, absolutely clutch at the stop! Oh, you gotta love this stuff, James. The game within the game, and this is a one-on-one -on -one battle, and this goaltender, he knows exactly where he's at, and he wins it. Looks to get the puck over to Verhage. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Tip shot! Great save by the goaltender on that redirect. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Takes the shot. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Puck scooped up by McLeod. And that one's turned aside. Looks to set up at the point now. Oh, what a blocker stopped by Bobrovsky. Look at this attack here in the Ozone. And they'll skate it out of the zone. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Handles the puck. The Panthers take possession in the defensive end. Florida's moving the puck through center ice. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Tries to feed it over to Dreisaitl. And sends it just out of reach. The Oilers play it along the wing. Take it along the wall by Ekblad. Florida's got a hold of the puck. Slides it over to Mikola. The Panthers take it along the wall. And he had the answer on that one. Yeah, refs don't like that. There's the whistle as the net comes off. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. The Panthers take control of the faceoff. Here they come on the rush. Makes the save. Oh, and this is a great save. You can see this one-on-one -on -one battle, and the goaltender is so dialed in, tracking and makes that save. Looks to pass it to Stedman. Florida's got it against the boards. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. There's been so much offense in this game, James. It's been real entertaining for us and the fans in the building. Listen, I was more of a defensive specialist, so I wouldn't have been up in the tap, but clearly the game's changing. And now it's grabbed by Kane. The Panthers have it from their own end. Janmark's got it along the wing. Centering feed, and that's stopped. Oh, this looks dangerous. Takes it across the blue line. Oh, it's still up. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. Moves it to Kulikov. Too much congestion in front. Turn that one aside. And look at this. They turn this offensive end into a pressure cooker. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. The Oilers have it now. Swing and a miss. Moves it quickly over to Cousins. Here they come on the attack. Sends the pass in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. He grabs the puck here at the point. Gives up the body for the block. Takes a hit on the play. Florida's in on the offensive attack now. Here's a short pass to Reinhardt. Oh, 
he got all that. What a save by Skinner. Oh, you can see his body language on that one. He cannot believe that he missed in tight there. It's all about the goaltender getting to position and making the save. Slides the puck to Verhage. Nice zone entry from the right side. What a steal in his own end. The Oilers played along the boards. Feeds the puck to Verhage. Florida's got it in the offensive zone. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. CeCe's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. This is a tough situation to be in. You're frustrated. You've taken your third penalty of the period. You got to kill it, reset, and find a way to push on. Time winding down in this one. While we have a chance, let's go to Carlin Bay, standing by ringside. McDavid's played a great game, and I really like his finishing touch, guys. So based on that, I'm giving him the edge in our matchup tonight. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. And they get the puck out. The Panthers will play it from the corner. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. And we got a delayed penalty coming up here. Quick feed to Hyman. Yeah, they're going to be shorthanded once again, much to the chagrin of these fans. What is that? Is that three in a row now? Yeah, that's three in a row. You got it. And the fans certainly don't like it, but it's not up to them, is it? But now they're back to the PK. So difficult to get any kind of flow in the game when you're marching to the penalty box. What an opportunity looming as they go back to work on the power play. Well, the opportunity is right now. Yes, they haven't had a great power play, but to execute at this critical time, it is now. It is there for the taking. And some good footwork to kick it away. A chance to clear. Oh, that's a big time clearing attempt there. Yeah, it's a great defensive play. You gotta be strong on your stick. You gotta know where everyone is. And let's face it, coach knows exactly who's out there at this time of the game for that very reason. Dreisaitl's really laboring as he leaves the game, James. He's going to make his way down the tunnel with some assistance from the medical staff here because he cannot put any weight on that one leg. Big part of this team, and obviously they are going to have to do without him for the next indefinite period until we get a medical update here. Puck slid down the ice. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. Takes the pass. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall. Denied. Rebound control is critical in the game of hockey. Putting it to the corner, and now the offensive player has to hound the puck. Trying to clear the zone. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. And he slides it quickly to Kane. From along the boards, moves the puck ahead. Quick pass to Kane. Rips it off the pipe and into the net. Wow. He almost needed a double take there, James. Sometimes you think it's out, but this one goes in. Wouldn't it be pretty if this was a set shot? Just aim for the inside of the post and know that it's going to go in? That's not typically the case, but tonight it is. The Oilers with a huge goal here in this third period. Now buckle up and can they hang on? Oh, I think it's more than hanging on, James. They've got to continue to attack and they've got to manage the puck. I mean, yes, it's the third period. There's a lot of runway left here. It's only a one goal game. Comes up with a stop. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Stenlitz recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The Panthers win it in the defensive zone. And now he moves it quickly to Mikola. Steps inside. A shot and makes the save. Skinner's got the puck. He's going to hang on for a whistle and slow things down. Well, he's been shelled, hasn't he, James? He's weathered every storm that's been thrown at him, and now he elects to pounce on this puck. It's a nice, safe play. He anticipates well, and he holds on for the whistle. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. 
From the point, they take control of it. Taken by Hyman. And that's blocked. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Florida's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Turns it aside with the glove. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. Browns ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Almost down to the final minute here in this third. Moves it to Perry. Puck picked up by Brown. Penalty expires, and when you look at where it stars, and they're cooking now. Uh, the opponent has no answer for them right now because they're relentless on the puck. They garnered some momentum after multiple back-to-back -back goals, James. They don't want to leave any breathing room and let their opponent get some life back. He gets the shot off in those coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. The Panthers have been the more active team offensively tonight with plenty of scoring chances, but they continue to trail because they haven't finished late in this third period. Puck grab by Kane. Feeds it over to Eckholm. Here's a short pass to Nugent Hopkins. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Sacrifices the body to block that in front. Reinhardt's got it across the line. Now a quick pass to Forslund. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. And the puck leaves the offensive end. They'll be forced to do it over from center. Centering feed. Takes the blast. And punches that away with the blocker. Florida's got the puck now. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. The Panthers gain control of the puck. A chance to ice it into the empty net. Well, you can see the body language on them, James. The dying moments of the game, and they're able to get the empty net goal. Everyone can take a deep breath here, as that should do it. are lined up and we are ready to resume. And they win that draw center. Edmonton's got the puck against the boards. There's the final horn sounding, putting this baby to rest. The Panthers took care of business within the dots, but they could not channel it into offense tonight here, Cheryl. Yeah, they dominated in the face-off circle, but it wasn't able to translate into offense. So they'll like that number. They'll want to continue with that. They've got to find ways to generate opportunities, James. Really, they weren't able to execute, and it's a reason why they lost. Well, that'll bring an end to an exciting night of hockey. And for all of us here at EA Sports, including Danny, Matt, Natalia, all in the truck, I'm James. She's Cheryl. Good night, everybody.